Hello Taproot users, welcome back to the Taproot Software Academy. In this video we're going to go ahead and discuss causal factors and how to add them to your snap chart. So the first thing we want to do is open up our investigation. We're going to open up our employee sprains ankle investigation and we'll take a look at the snap chart here. So we'll click on snap chart. All right, so we determined that the incident was an employee sprains their ankle. This was caused by them stepping in a pothole. And the reason they stepped in the pothole we determined was because it was after dark and the lights were out. So what is going to be the causal factor for, or causal factors for this incident? First off, we need to figure out what the definition of a causal factor is. So if you look in the upper right corner here, you can see an icon with three triangles. That is our causal factor icon. And as we hover over, you can see a causal factor is identified as a mistake, error, or failure that directly leads to or causes an incident or fails to mitigate the consequences of the original error. Okay, so looking at that, the main things that we're looking at here is a mistake, error, or failure that leads to something else. So looking at our conditions, we have after dark as a condition and lights out as a condition. Well, going to our definition, a mistake, error, or failure. After dark, obviously, is not any of those. There's nothing we can do to control that. However, looking at lights out, that definitely could be a causal factor. Were the lights out because the bulbs burned out? Was there power to the lights? What caused that? So that, to me, would be either an error or mistake, which led to a failure that caused the issue. So to actually make this a causal factor, we're going to go ahead and select the object. And as we select the object, you notice the causal factor icon now becomes active. I'm going to go ahead and move the window over here real quick, and you'll see why here in just a second. So we've identified the causal factor, lights out, we've highlighted it, and we'll go ahead and click on the icon to make it a causal factor. And now, if you look at the window behind, you can see causal factor lights out. So we've determined that the causal factor was lights out, and that's uh, identified here as well. So it basically is pulling the text from whatever condition or event you have and then puts that in there as the causal factor. So as you can see, causal factor lights out. Also, you notice that underneath there is a link for analyze the root cause or with root cause tree. We'll actually get to that in a later video. So now we have causal factors identified. We have them defined, what they are, we have them identified in our snap chart. But let's say we, we have further discussion and uh, we determine that, no, we're not going to go ahead and select it just yet because we're, we're not ready to do the analysis on the tree. So we're going to go ahead and deselect it. So the way to do that is to highlight the object, which it still is highlighted, and we'll go ahead and simply select the causal factor icon again. So now it's saying, warning, this causal factor has an associated root cause tree that will be deleted. Are you sure you want to remove both this causal factor and the root cause tree? And in this case, we do. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And so the icon is gone. And if you also notice on the window behind, the root, the causal factor icon is also here. And the link for the root cause tree is also gone. So now we have, so we've been able to identify what a causal factor is add a condition or event as a causal factor in our snap chart and then also remove it if we determine later on that that is not indeed what we thought was a causal factor. So we will go ahead and analyze the root cause tree in the later video as I mentioned. But if you guys have any questions definitely don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at taproot.com or giving us a call at 865-357-0080 and remember, just because it's technical doesn't mean it has to be complicated. Thank you and you have a great day.